we're here. Thank involved. you very much. So uh, he then uh, ends the uh, the news conference. So the questions that were being asked there were, uh, you know, do, do you uh, think uh, January 6th was legitimate political discourse, what happened at the, uh, the U.S. Capitol? Uh, you also have uh, the question of, uh, will you accept the election results? Uh, that was posed to Bailey. And it, since it wasn't uh, part of the, the news conference subject matter, Bailey said uh, he's done and he walked away. Uh, 217-629-7970 is the phone number. I want to hear from you now. Uh, that's a question that apparently Adam Kinzinger wants all Republicans to answer. What do you think is the question that all Democrats running for office should answer? 217-629-7970. Again, 217-629-7970. Let's get your calls. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Hey, I'm I'm more interested in what they're going to do with school. I, people don't care about January 6th. They've made it out to be something that it wasn't. They're trying to make it worse than it was. The only person that got hurt was a protester or rioter, whatever. Well, Ashley it, Babbitt was killed by yeah, a that's uh, the only Capitol person. guard. Yeah, and that, and there was no insurrection. There was a half a million people there. If they wanted to take over the Capitol, they would have. So what, what, uh, understood your perspective there. What what question do you think should be? Asked I'm more interested in what they're going to do getting our kids back to school, getting normal normalcy back to the state of Illinois. What they're going to do about the corruption in our state, but things like Madigan and the four other people in, that were in the Congress that got indicted over stuff. I'm, I'm more worried about that. Crime, schools. I could care less about January 6th. Got you down. Nobody uh, really does anymore. T- taking taking your guys' calls as to what you want to have as uh, the question that all candidates have to answer to, uh, because again, Adam Kinzinger, Republican from Illinois and U.S. Congress, he's not running for re-election. Actually, he's been um, uh, rebuked by uh, Republican officials. Uh, but uh, he says that every Republican running for office needs to be asked about January 6th and about election integrity. Um, what do you think are the questions that need to be asked? See either Republicans or Democrats. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Okay, so first thing, that previous caller has lost his mind. It was an insurrection. It was a coup. And there's, I mean, people did die. Capitol Police died. Um, but my well, they, but, but, but to be clear, they died after the uh, the day, uh, and apparently one died of a stroke. Uh, and yeah, there was a lot of abuse of the police officers there. And I think everybody agrees that if you broke the law, you need to have your day in court and uh, be held accountable. But regardless of that, we're not debating that. All right, we're not debating that. I want to know from you what the question that you want the uh, Republicans or Democrats to answer. Uh, the one that I would really like answered for actually both parties is. You know, what are you going to do for downstaters? And, you know, let's take the focus off Chicago. What is somebody running for governor or Congress going to do for people downstate, especially like rural America, farmers that are struggling? And, you know, like where my parents live right now, we don't even have an ambulance service. No. Yeah, that's that's so what could. What what are you guys going to do to help that? So you're looking at uh, really some <laughs> some kitchen table practical issues. Uh, I think that's uh, that's a good line of questioning. I appreciate that. And again, as somebody who's out there in the field reporting, I want to hear from you. 217-629-7970. What questions do you think uh, should be asked of uh, political candidates? Uh, as some are saying, it needs to be about January 6th. It needs to be about uh, you know uh, whether or not uh, they accept the election results. Uh, those are things that uh, uh, some in the political establishment say every Republican needs to answer, but what about the Democrats? Uh, should they maybe answer to um, unchecked executive authority during COVID? Uh, should they answer to what somebody suggested is, you know, corruption, for instance? Uh, 217-629-7970, good morning. Good morning, Greg. I well, think the question that they all need to ask themselves is, what is causing people to feel so strongly and be so uh, aggravated that they would go to that length to do something like that. That's the question they need to be asking themselves. And it's the aggravation of them not listening to us that is causing that. So maybe they need to take a look at that. It's an interesting question to pose, um, and, and maybe we'll see if those questions get posed. Appreciate that. 217-629-7970. What question, uh, litmus test, uh, do you want to have uh, uh, those running for office answer, be it Republican, Democrat, or any candidate for that matter? Good morning. 
How does that woman expect uh, or, or think that it was an insurrection when nobody brought any guns? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, it, it, listen, I mean, I, I've not uh, been part of the hearings at Capitol Hill. Uh, I've not seen all of the footage of what happened on, on Capitol Hill January 6th of 2021. Um, so I, I can't really answer that question. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Uh, what question do you want those running for office to answer? Good morning. Good morning. Um, I think really when we look at this thing, it kind of angered me that the guy wouldn't answer a simple question. I, I don't know if he ran home and cried to his mommy about it, but um, I think what we should be asking is how did our country become so divided that we're almost, mm. um, we're unable now to even function in some, in some ways. I think we should be asking how did we get here? How do we get back to where we did function, you know, 40 years ago, relatively well compared to now. And the real problems I think people are facing are economic issues. Uh, downstate Illinois, there used to be pretty decent jobs for people, you know, 40 years ago. And uh, it's tough now without a husband and a wife both working um, to raise a family. You know, there, there's drug problems, uh, the fentanyl, the, the methamphetamine. Um, we've seen the, we've seen our country, well, well downstate Illinois, um, but the entire country, we've seen it um, being brought down by, I think, external forces. I think our enemies, the Chinese, the Eastern Europeans, the Russians, um, are laughing at us, and their efforts are working. Well, and I think uh, your question kind of um, goes right along with somebody else who called just before you, saying, uh, you know, the question that needs to be asked is, how do we get to this point? Uh, and how do we reverse this? Uh, not necessarily, you know, uh, was January 6th uh, the civil discourse or if, uh, you know, you you trust election results. Uh, I think that uh, it's interesting to hear. I appreciate that. So, yeah, it looks like um, at least a little bit of a consensus in as far as uh, uh, the question of how did we get to this point where we're so divided? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question to ask, I think. And I'll uh, work that into my repertoire of questions uh, for Republicans and Democrats. Uh, what question do you think is a, a so-called litmus test? That's what we're getting from you today. Day at 217-629-7970. Appreciate everybody calling in here on WMAY. And it is a state holiday, by the way. It's uh, Lincoln's birthday tomorrow, but today is the state holiday for state employees. So uh, keep that in mind uh, as you uh, proceed throughout the day. Real quick, one last call. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Hey, morning, Greg. Uh, I really think the question should be, uh, what are they going to do to stop this mass exodus uh, from Illinois. Um, we get uh, taxed and, and we pay astronomical fees and everybody is leaving. And I want to know what they're going to do to make this state a better business compl- climate and uh, and to get people to not leave and, and attract people to Illinois, because eventually there's just not going to be anybody left to pay these astronomical taxes and fees. Appreciate the call. Uh, yeah, and that's one question I have been asking uh, members of uh, both parties for years uh, and uh, not really getting a, a whole lot of clarity uh, or any uh, substantive um, uh, policies that come forward because we still continue to lose population. One last one. I'll give you 30 seconds. Good morning. Yeah, property taxes. Uh, why the state of Illinois is just, well, the Democrats in Illinois are just completely punishing their citizens. Uh, day in and day out with high gas prices, uh, inflation. You look at other states, Iowa, uh, Missouri, Indiana, Kentucky, there's no lockdown. Um, you know, they're, they're free. They're more free than what we are here. And uh, it's just, you know, we're at a point where we, we want to leave this state. Uh, and, you know, however it works out, we hope that we can at some point in the future because there's just, it, it's, you know, I got to notice my property taxes was going up 34 percent. Yeah. Yeah. Tax is definitely a, a pretty important issue. No question about it. Appreciate all the calls on this. It is the WMAY morning news feed. Got to take a break. Uh, thank